Welcome back, everybody. My name is Linnell Gardner. I'm in charge of the state of Sunny Liston. We're here to set the record straight. Today, uh, we're going to look at the Showtime special, Pariah, The Lives and Deaths of Sunny Liston, that uh, debuted uh, last November and ran through January of 2020, uh, based on a book by Shauna Sell uh, called uh, The Murder of Sunny Liston, Las Vegas, Heroin and Heavyweights. Um, in this, in the Showtime special, uh, they talk about how Sonny um, got released early. Uh, he was supposed to spend five years in federal prison for armed robbery, uh, and he only did three. Uh, so they believe, uh, or their theory is, the mob helped him to get out uh, to 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 get an early parole. Uh, now let's think about that. Uh, the mob, who uh, who are uh, they do they do illegitimate practices. They don't they 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 the legitimate practices. Uh, bus, their legitimate business practices are to clean their money to to get out of the out of the game. You know, uh, Italians came to this country and they were lynched uh, because of they were they were perceived as black when they uh, along with the Irish the Irish were all, also uh, perceived as black um, and so they were lynched and jailed in this country and so uh, in order to survive they had to um, do what they had to do uh, to put food on the table so they weren't proud of what they were doing they didn't they weren't proud of being gangsters. Or having to 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 um, uh, create criminal criminal activity in order to survive. Uh, that's all they, they 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 were pushed in the corner. That's 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 how they had to do what they had to do. So when they got more established and more money, they would try to clean their money through boxing um, in order to get out of the Ill illegitimate business practices of crime. Um, so uh, because they're not stupid. They wouldn't. They wouldn't go on a world stage and commit crimes. That's just stupid. So uh, money was a way to clean their money and get out of the business because nobody wants to be. They don't want to. They don't want their kids to. They wanted their kids to look up, look up to them. Their children to look up to them. You know, um, and not follow in their footsteps. Um, so anybody that doesn't doesn't grow up in that, they don't know what they're talking about. And a lot of these these journalists. They have no idea what they're talking about. I mean, maybe they, they they see these crime movies and that's where they get their ideas from. But they don't. Ninety nine percent of them don't know what the hell they're talking about when it comes to uh, growing up in the life, um, or no, knowing knowing people that grew up in the life. So anyway, we're gonna fact check uh, the Showtime special, Pariah: The Lives of and Deaths of Sunny Listen, and see what they say about Sonny's time in uh, federal prison. Okay, so here's here it is. The Showtime special, Pride, the Lives and Deaths of Sunday Liston. Uh, we're going to see how many misleading statements they make. And uh, I think it was an 89-minute show. And post them. Um, and I, I posted them on my, I have a I have blog, a, a Sunny Liston blog. It's, uh, you got to go to linnellgardner.com. That's L-Y-N-E-L -E Gardner, G-A-R-D-N-E-R, Linnell, L-Y-N-E-L. Gardner, G A R D N E R dot com, Lenell Gardner dot com, and that is a Sunny Liston uh, blog, and uh, where you can see what I've been doing over the years. Uh, and also, I have my book, uh, Beast Deconstruction of Charles Sunny Liston, that's on Amazon. Uh, if you want to help out the family um, with, uh, you know, surviving. <laughs> uh, so, anyway, um, this is what they said. Uh, we're going to go over what they what they what they said, and we're, I'm going to show you some never seen, uh, never before seen pictures of Sonny going back to prison, which 99 of, of, uh, inmates don't do. 99 percent of inmates don't go back to prison to to show their gratitude to the inmates, to the administrative uh, staff, the warden, uh, to the officers. Uh, and this is what Sonny did when he became champ. He went back to prison to show his gratitude 
because they helped to uh, shape shape him at a young age and to becoming a champion, right? So anyway, uh, here's here here we go. Uh, Sonny's prison experience, as told by Showtime. He went to the penitentiary in Jefferson, which was a really tough place. Time magazine called it the bloodiest 47 acres in America. Gangs ruled it. There were fights all the time. Guards were afraid to patrol it. Guards were afraid to patrol some of the D-blocks. Liston was brutalized early in prison. I believe that Liston had to fight for everything he got there. And I think he took a fair share of beatings. They sound, these, these historians, um, these commentators on Showtime, uh, they sound more like fortune tellers and or mind readers. They're stating that they think that Sonny did this and they feel that Sonny did that. Showtime misleads its audience by not giving the year of the Time Magazine article. The Time Magazine article came out in 1967. Sonny was one of the few model pris prisoners. He was sentenced to five years for robbery starting in 1950, later getting early parole for good behavior. Sonny was bad compared to who? Compared to Kate Richardson's O'Hare? Compared to Pretty Boy Floyd? C compared to Carl Austin Hall? Or Bonnie Heady? And or James L. Ray? Who also spent time at Jefferson Prison, some even serving longer terms than Sonny. There were three major riots at the Missouri State Penitentiary, the most deadly occurring in 1954. Sonny was not there for that riot. Why? Because he was paroled in 1952. So now I'm going to show you some never before seen photos of Sonny going back to prison which, like I said earlier, why would somebody, if it was so brutal and so, so much hardship there and so violent as like, as they, like they say it, like they believe it was, or like they say it is, it was, why the hell would he go back there? What incentive would he go back to prison for? He went back to prison because he wanted to show them how what he's done with his life, how he changed his life, how they helped him set um, set him up for, for greatness. So here's Sonny getting a, a, a haircut from the prison uh, barber. Here's Sonny with the warden and the administrative staff. It's like a happy place to me. Here's the registry with Sonny's uh, signature. It's probably hard to see when he went into prison that day. The registry. I think it's the register. Yeah, register. Um, there's a signature right there of him going into prison that day. And I got these from the prison. Um, the it's a museum now, and he's 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 honored there. They have his cell still there. Um, it's it's one of the um, one of the uh, uh, major um, his cell and his where he fought and all that, where he trained and fought in the ring. That's uh one of the major displays at the prison, at the museum. Um, is that the same one? There he is. Not sure who this gentleman is. It might be a, a one of the, uh, oh, that might be the, I think that's the agent, the, the, either the sports writer that got him connected to the boxing, um, uh, get to get him, got him outside connections, uh, to, um, becoming a professional boxer or competitive boxer, amateur boxer. I think that might be him. I can double check on that and get back to you. Uh, there was a sports writer that helped 
Sonny to make connections on the outside. And uh, I think people have seen this one. I think that I think that one's been seen. This may, it may or may not, but I think that might. Yeah, I think that one's out in the this one's out in the public domain. Um, so th just think about how how hard it would have been for the mob to um, go into uh, to get Sunny out. I mean, the the, the rumor is uh, Showtime is saying that the mob uh, got found a way to get Sunny out of prison early. Now this is an uh, an unknown bo uh, unchallenged boxer in the professional um, circuit who's fighting inmates. Why would they t take such a risk? I mean, they have and they have boxers on the outside that that are that ha that are caliber that are already in uh, the boxing profession. Why would they? Why would they take such a risk? And so, so they're going to go to uh, try to bribe federal uh, uh, administrators. It's a federal prison, so that means they would have to bribe the 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 warden. They would have to bribe politicians, uh, and they would have to bribe the governor to get Sonny out. All for a guy that has yet to prove himself in professional boxing or even amateur boxing. It's just far fetched. That's just too far, far, too far fetched. There's his signature again. So anyway, um, there's a lot more. I mean, you can read my book, and you know what you can do is you make your own comparisons between my book and the Showtime special, uh, my book and uh, Shauna Sell's book. Make your comparisons and see how my book. Is similar to theirs, and remember, my book came out in two thirteen. Sean's came out in two sixteen, and the uh, special uh, uh, Showtime special came out in twenty twenty. Plus, my notes from I didn't I my notes are in the library have been in the Library of Congress since two thousand eight. So, um, and I was for, I was the first one to talk about those issues uh, in my book uh, because that's just how I think. Uh, I don't think like Harvard professors and. Purdue professors and uh, Ohio State professors because they don't have my experiences. All black people don't think alike. That's why you had so many uh, different. Uh, you had the SNCC, you had the Black Panther Party, they had uh, NAACP. I mean, you had you had all these different factions of the black uh, nationalist movement. And they all all had different ideologies. For So for those professors to say that. Uh, that they think like me, they they that's in, that's just insanity because they don't have my experience as uh, as uh, as a black man uh, in America. They don't have my experience because I grew up on another. I grew up in California, and it's a whole different it's a whole different experience here, right? So so in any case, read my book, compare and contrast my book with the Showtime special and Shauna Sells. Uh, work, especially when it comes to Darwin, how I use Darwin in uh, in my book, it's never been done before before me in that way. Uh, and the whole idea of you know one one uh, them cheering for Sunny and, and 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 not Ali, that was that was my dilemma of my my self loathing uh, as and my shame of being black in America and how my community accepted. Ali over Sonny and how I and that was about assimilation that that's that's how they that's how they messed up they basically turned my book into a footnote that was all about assimilation how we were coming out of the inner city and trying to assimilate and those that like Sonny uh from the streets uh how we looked looked down upon them uh looked down on them uh uh because we wanted to become more more like uh accepted in the world, in the in the white world, so we had to become more white because when you assimilate, you have to lose your identity, and they 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 sold it to us by saying you guys are going to join the melting pot. So we thought we were we were going to be able to break the glass ceiling, but then we you know you, we realized later that above above the glass ceiling is a cement ceiling. So um, 
yeah, so see see how I use those the politics and the, the, the discussions on race. Those concepts in my book never never been put together like that because that's how I think. And you'll see, uh, and you go back and through history and look at all the books on Sonny and all the documentaries on Sonny, you'll never see anybody put Sonny's story together the way I did. And that's why they needed a, fr a fresh look. Uh, 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 they needed a fresh look uh, when it came to the Showtime special because they wanted, because my whole idea was I wanted to bring Sonny to the millennial mark, to the millennials and reintroduce Sonny to the millennials. And so they tried to kind of do both. They tried to appease the millennials and they tried to appease their, their, uh, co the cottage industry that grew up around, the, uh, the, the old guard that grew up around the fights that, that generation that grew up around the fights that believes the myths of, of, of Sonny the, in the, in the, um, hyperbole and all that, all that, uh, mythos about Sonny. Uh, they wanted it both ways. So, so, um, yeah, check that out, and uh, we're gonna bring continue to bring you more info uh, and more facts. Thanks for uh, listening. Take care.